Well, here we are, back in the old favourite, the car park swim. It's been a couple of weeks since I last fished, um, but since I last fished over there in number 10, um, there's been a netting. Uh, they got a couple of the lakes real big ones out, Scaly and uh, Nigel's fish, and a couple of the real big commons as well. Um, the intention of the netting was to remove some of the smaller carp to allow the, uh, the other carp to grow, and also some of the nuisance fish like the tench and the bream. Um, to allow more food to come through for the other ones, so I think that's a pretty good idea. But uh, that's really stirred things up a fair bit. I think all the leads on the bottom of the net stirred the bottom up, and since the netting, it's absolutely gone off. Uh, loads of the lake's good ones have come out. So I'm back here in the car park swim. My mate Dave Woodhouse was in here for the previous two nights and uh, had five fish up to 31 pound, 31 pound mirror. So I'm basically fishing the same areas as him and hoping for, uh, hoping for a few more. Right, I'm using my tried and tested uh, helicopter presentation and I'm using that in conjunction with a nice little snowman presentation there. What we've got here is some atomic stiffen, which is uh, some great stuff. You can actually do real, real nice combi links. You see there, it's got a real good stiff property to that. Nice supple braid. Brakes at 18 pound, lovely. I've got a straight point, interned eye hook there in the eight. Uh, quite a long hair. Um, and then you've got a little pop up on top, and a little bottom bait there, the old fruit salad, pucker baits they are. Now I'm using those in conjunction with uh, little nugget bags like that, tiny little bags. This one's filled with tutti frutti crumb and bread crumb. Um, and I've used that using the, uh, the missile mesh from Atomic. Cracking it is. Like low residue, quick melt time, good stuff. Uh, the other one, I'm using like more of a food value bait in there. What you've got in there is DT, salmon and anchovy. Lovely it is, with a bit of breadcrumb as well. So uh, that one as well I'd use in conjunction with the little bright hook bait. Got a lot of confidence in that. What I've done, I've got like a figure of eight loop up here. Thread the little uh, the bag on there, and what you got <coughs> is that kind of effect. You pull the hook into the crumb, but you've got to make sure that the crumb is actually crumbed, that you haven't got any like big pieces in there, because you wouldn't want that hook point pulling into any of the big pieces, so a really fine crumb to make the bag mix. Um, and you push it over the whole lot, essentially it stops the hair tangling around the hook, which is good. And it's a totally tangle-free presentation. There's just enough attraction in there to uh, draw fish down, which is nice, but not too much. Um, you don't need too much in the little bag. You just need, you're basically just fishing for one fish at a time. That's what it's going to look like. There it is. Melted away. So what you got is your lovely little snowman presentation and all around it like a gorgeous little pile of crumb. Well attractive to any hungry carp. Well, what I'm doing, fishing three rods, two rods I'm fishing like quite close in, like off to the right here. You've got like a deep channel that moves out from this bank um, and heads up to the corner of the lake there. So it's all five foot out in front of me here, but it drops down to probably about six and a half foot. So I've got those two, the right hand one and the middle one going over that way. Um, then my other rod, I've got where well, I had that common basically, about uh, 80 yards out, towards number 21. And what you've got out there is like a, a deep, silty depression in which I like to feed. 